five teachers, K5 music teachers, I come bearing some really great news. We are able to link Spotlight to Canvas and it should be a very easy way for a student to get to their lesson. Um, there are a couple very important steps that I need to tell you about and then have fun linking. So first of all, um, you will need to log into your McGraw-Hill account. Mine may look different than yours because I have different access to different things. Um, but this is the very important part. You have to use whatever grade level the student is in that particular grade level of book because they are only assigned a certain grade level and they cannot access other grade levels. So for instance, today I'm going to be using my son Xander. He is in second grade, so I'm going to show you the process um, for doing that. So I'm going to click on the teacher edition of the second grade book, Spotlight on Music. And because this defaults to Florida, we need to go up here and your menu bar and choose Spotlight on Music. And then you have to go up here again and go to grade two. So there's several steps here. So now I'm in grade two, Spotlight on Music. And I'm just going to go right here, unit one, together through music, lesson one, step to the beat. So I'm going to pull it up. So this is the lesson that I want um, my second graders to work on. I'm going to highlight this entire link, copy it. <clears throat> now I'm going to go into my Canvas course, and I'm um, I have created, you know, I'm working on a page here, and I am going to do this a couple different ways. Let's see. I'm going to erase all this stuff. We don't need that. <clears throat> I'm going to click the link button. It's an external link. I'm going to pop it right there and I'm going to call it, um, I already forget what it's called, Listen to the Beat, I think. Listen to the Beat Lesson. So it, now it says click the link below to go to our music textbook, Spotlight on Music, Listen to the Beat Lesson. Okay. I'm going to click save. So now it is ready to go there. It doesn't look so great, but we can worry about that later. Now I'm going to incognito sign in as my son over here. Let's see, where did he go? Here he is. So the step is, uh, for in order for this to work for the students, they first have to log into Clever, because remember, Clever is a single sign-on Active Directory, so once they're in here, it attaches their credentials with everything they want to do. So they start off at Clever, and when, when your students log in, they see their school and their name. Then they go to Canvas, and once they get into Canvas, they're going to see their courses. So my son has an art class, math and science, music, reading and writing, and um, PE. Now for today, I just went ahead for practicing. I added him into this training course so he could see, so I could check to see if it worked. So here we go. Um, I put the spotlight link in the week one. So I'm going to click week one and we should see what it said there. Click the link below to go to our music textbook spotlight on music. So we click right there, listen to the beat lesson. And then it pulls right up for the student. They didn't have to log in or anything. So maybe the first thing you tell them that you want them to do is listen to dance, dance, dance. So they just click right on here. And I don't know if you remember this, but their pop-up windows need to be unblocked. They click start, and then they can hear the song. Okay. Um, then maybe you've asked them to um, read about Mary Poppins, they would click there too, and then listen to the song Step in Time, so forth and so on. So they can do everything here that you link them to do, um, or that you tell them to do. I would suggest you go over, over the steps during your live Zoom with them, and then when they are doing independent work, that way they know exactly how to do this. Um, another thing you can do is utilize the um, other parts in Spotlight. So let me go back to here, Music Studio. Maybe in grade two, you want to go to um, Spotlight on Celebration. So we have Patriotic. I'm going to click here, Songs of Our Country. And the same process, you can click right in here, Control Copy. 
let me go back to my other course. I mean, my course. I'm going to edit here. And once I get into my rich content editor text box here, you can do two things. You can paste the link straight like that. I think that's kind of messy. So I am going to try to do this instead, where I just click here, external link, same patri or I'll just put patriotic songs. <clears throat> and then maybe I would make sure that I would say something for the students to do, like click the link below to sing patriotic songs. So now I'm going to go back in my son's course and um, take this out, pretend he was logging in, going back to Clever, I mean, excuse me, Canvas, all these C words. Going back to his first period, I mean, his week one. And then here now I'm going to click Patriotic Songs and it should launch that lesson. And so it tells you the overview. And he can sing America. And then it gives you like instructions for other things to do. Here's the thing for Washington Post. They can do a little listening map. So um, play interactive instruments. So this is a re I'm really excited that we can link this now. Now, like I said before, it's really important that you only link things that are in the student's grade level. So if I were to go to third grade and get a lesson, let's try this one, follow the rhythm, control copy. I'm going to go back to my Canvas account. I'm going to try to add this in to see if my second grader can access it. I'm just going to, for brevity, just paste the link there. Okay, I'm going back to my son's account. Um, I'm going to click here again. He'll find that link and watch what happens. When he clicks here, it'll say Forbidden, you do not have access to that resource. That's because he's not in third grade and only your third grade students will have access. Okay, so just uh, the important reminders are you need to use the grade level that is assigned to your student or the um, additional materials that are assigned to your students. So for instance, my son has, if I were to go into his Spotlight on Music page, he has access to the following books. <clears throat> he has his grade two. He has It's a Musical World collection. Let's all sing Halloween. I'm not actually sure why he has that because that's supposed to be for grades four and up. And then let's all sing holiday songs. Um, other grade levels have um, they can access things like the pop, the pop books and. Um, I believe the Mexico is for third through fifth grade. So I'll get all of those details for you and send those in a separate email. But for now, I'm very happy that this is working. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks, guys.